Hi, my name is Fern and we're going to do 30 minutes of yoga. So let's get started. Just come to the front of your mat. And breathe in to reach all the way up. Take your right fingers and wrap them over your left wrist. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, coming into a side bend, stretching over. Inhale, reaching up, taking the fingers over the right wrist. And exhale, side bend, coming over. Inhale, stretch up. And as you breathe out, sweeping your arms down, back, clasp your hands behind you. Press your palms together and extend your arms, open up your chest. So from here, bending the knees, sweep the arms forwards, round your spine, inhale. And as you exhale, press your hips forwards, open up through your chest. Exhale, bend your knees, round your spine, curl forwards. And inhale, squeeze your bottom, open up your chest. Do that a couple more times. Just moving through our spine. We come up to the top, inhale. As you breathe out, spiral twist. So turn as far as you can to one side. Let your movement come from your heels all the way up to the crown of the head. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Breath in and breath out. Beautiful big movement. Stretch up and tuck your chin as you roll forwards all the way down to your forward fold. Let's step the leg closest to the screen wide and coming into a forward fold. So wide leg forward fold. I know we might be a bit stiff. We've just started this morning. Please bend your knees, relax your shoulders. So we've just started moving for the day or maybe just started our first bit of big movement. We might be a bit stiff, but we need to bend the knees, relax the head, just hang down. Take some time here. And walking your arms forwards, walking your hands forwards, turn your toes out, bending your knees, sitting down and climb up. So we're in lovely wide squat position. Arms reach wide and sinking down. We'll take our hands down and press them to prayer. Lift up your right heel and lower down. Then your left, lift and lower. Now both, finding your balance, Maybe you don't have balance today, that's fine. If you like, stay with single lift. So we inhale up and we exhale down. Inhale, lift and exhale, lower. Keep it down. Link your hands together, turn your palms up towards your chin. Press your arms away, rounding your spine, curl. Inhale, lift and lengthen through your spine. Exhale, sweep those arms down and around. And we breathe in, gather the air. Breathe out, push away, round through your spine. All the while bending through those knees. Inhale. Exhale. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Breath Keep moving. Release. We do one more. Inhale. As you breathe out, press your arms forward and reach up, hold up. Inhale, come over to one side. 
exhale center. Inhale over to the other side. Exhale center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist, spiral twist. Inhale up. Exhale, spiral twist the other way. Inhale. And breathing out, bending your knees deeply. Bring your hands down to the ground. Heels swing outwards, toes turn inward. Slight bend in your knees as you fold forward. Give your head a shake. Give it a nod. If your head is touching the ground, bring your feet a bit closer so that your head isn't touching the ground. And then you can walk your hands a bit further underneath your legs. Alright, walking hands forwards. Turn your toes out. Bend your knees. Take your right hand and place it underneath your chest. Stretch up, reach up with your left and place your hand to the lower back. Release. Taking the other side up, inhale and exhale. Hand to lower back. Release. Rising up. Big breath in, stretch wide. Bending the elbows, cactus arms, engaging the abdominals. We sit down and we bring the chest forwards, close the arms. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, come forwards, close your arms. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Then we come down and we hold down and hold. Option hands come to thighs or just staying here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to your forward fold. Heels wide, head hangs down. Rest. Relax your shoulders. Relax the neck. Let your head hang. straight this time or straight ish keeping the toes turned inwards place your right hand underneath your chest reaching up with your left arm twisting and then take your hand to your lower back open more with your shoulder so the right shoulder opens more Breathe in to reach up, bringing hand to lower back, open the chest, holding here. And releasing down, turn your toes out, sit your hips down, lifting up. Exhale, elbows bent. Sitting down, come forward. And open up. Come forward. And open up. Now changing it. Arms wide. Come forward and hold. Reach forwards and hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, down. Heel toe your feet wider. Walk across to your right foot. Walk across to your left foot. So we're coming into Skandasana. So some of us are happy here. We don't need to come down any deeper. Others will like to come down, lifting the toes up, heel to the ground. So we can come back across to the other side, lifting the toes up, opening. Now, if you're feeling particularly strong, 
and vibrant today. Who knows? Hands can be at your heart and you just come without help. For me, I'm happy to just use my hands. I don't know if you can hear the popping of my knees, but they're popping. And let's do one more. One. And walking across, and we take the back leg into a lunge position. And come down, walk across, and into a lunge position. Come down, walk across, lunge, rise up, inhale, and exhale, walk across, lunge, rise up, inhale, and exhale, walk across, lunge, rise up, inhale, open to warrior two, exhale, pick it up to lunge, inhale, and down, walk across, lunge, rise up, warrior two, back to lunge, pick it up, and land down, and walk through centre, toes turned inwards, forward fold, we rest. forwards again. Heel toe in, toes turned out. Now lift your heels up, lower your hips. Lifting heels up on purpose. Yoga squat we normally do with our heels grounded. I just want the heels to be up today just for a little while. While we, I'm going to start with the fingers down. Tap the knee to the ground and tap the knee to the ground. We tap and we tap. And we're just working on ankle flexibility, movement through the feet. If you want to tap and tap, tap and tap. Let's go for three, two, one. Holding here, reaching up, inhale, land down, step your feet a bit wider and lower down. So you might be able to find Malasana, your yoga squat, or maybe you need to find the lifted heel version. Okay, so we come up, inhale up, and exhale down. Inhale up, I like a bit of a wider stance, and exhale down. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Let's come up. Come down halfway, hold. All the way. Come up halfway. All the way. Come down halfway. All the way. Up halfway. All the way up. Come down again. Hands behind. Feet come together, just sitting up tall, inhale, and exhale, good, okay, let's cross our legs, so your option here is just to stay with your legs crossed, I quite like this position for myself, or you can decide to find a half lotus, so that's ankle to the knee, and you're lowering your knee down to your foot. So this should be stretching quite deeply through your glutes of your top leg. So whichever leg is your top leg. So I'm going to come back to my cross sit because I like it better for my body. Inhale, reach up. And breathing out to come forwards. Stretching through your buttocks. Feel your hips heavy towards the ground. Keep 
inhale left. As you breathe out, twist one way, any way you like, having a look over your back shoulder. Press into your back hand to lift higher. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, coming the other way. Inhale, up. Okay, so we'll change legs. Taking the other one in front. So of course you can be in your cross set or if you feel inclined, your half lotus. Half lotus, we always want that knee to be quite low. And I encourage you to flex your foot so that the knee joint feels a bit more stable and also your ankle joint isn't at a really acute angle, really weird angle. All right, let's breathe in, reach up. And breathe out, come on down. Oh, it feels good to rest here. Let your shoulders soften, let your head be heavy. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, twist one way. Looking over your shoulder. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, look the other way. And release. From here, coming to lie on your belly. Bringing your chest down to the ground, let your head rest heavy. Bring your hands, slide them back beside you, let your shoulders round down towards the ground. Make sure I'm not squashing my microphone. Just relax. So from here, we're going to wake up through the legs. So you might decide you want your head a little bit differently angled, maybe straight down to the ground. And we squeeze the bottom and lift the legs up. You can have your head resting to the side as well. We inhale as we lift. And we exhale as we lower. Let's add some arms. So we'll leave the legs out for now. Just do the arms. Breath in. And breath out. Stretching the arms back. Inhale. And exhale. Take your hands together, clasp them, breathe in, reach back. And breathe out. And let's add the legs, reaching the legs up as you come up. Inhale. And exhale. Big breath in. And letting the breath. Opening up and lowering down and holding up. Hold, hold, hold. Reach, 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 reach. Press your chest forwards. Lift your arms and lower. Lift your arms and lower. Up and down. Two and one. Come down. Take your hands under your shoulders. Feet to the ground. Shoulder blades down and back. Palms pressing. As you inhale, squeeze bottom. Inhale, lengthen arms. Exhale, lower back down. Inhale, lengthening your arms, reaching your chest forwards. Exhale to lower down. And keep coming. And just doing one more. Down, elbows down to the ground. Turn your head to look over your right shoulder. Come through center. Look over your left shoulder. Through center. Elbows wide. We come back down. And rest. Just for a moment. And taking your hands either side of the rib cage. Push yourself up. Push. Walk your knees forward. And let's bring the feet around the front. Okay. 
So we did some work through the back of the body and um, coming into the front of the body. Lengthen through your spine. Lean back, come into boat. Your legs are reaching forwards, your arms are reaching forwards. Shoulder blades are down. Just holding here. If you want to come with me, inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Option, single arm at a time. Don't have to do both. Inhaling up, exhaling down. One more. And down. Single leg toe tap. So exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. You might decide to do both. And up. Or maybe you'll go extend and bend. So we tap. We tap. Or maybe tap. Tap. Or maybe reach. Reach. Or you could do all three. Working hard in the front of the body. And reach. Reach. Let's catch the back of the legs, roll our body down to the ground, hugging the knees into the chest, relaxing through the head. Just going to scoot myself back onto my mat. And let's work on a lovely stretch for the inner thighs. So we were actively opening up our inner thighs earlier in the class as we started. So let's come into a more passive stretch as we open our legs out to the side. So you might find that bent knees works better for you, or you might like a straight leg. Some of you out there might be super bendy, so you might decide to hold onto your toes and pull those legs in. Don't feel like this is the ultimate thing to do. All you need is a stretch for your inner thighs and you're doing well. Taking your hands to the inside of your legs can weigh your legs down. Taking them underneath the legs just helps to support. From here, take your knees close to them. Some of you might like to take your big toes and hold them. We're going to rock up. So let's take the hands behind the thighs. We'll be realistic. Let's just rock up with the hands behind the thighs. Not get too excited about doing fancy stuff at home. Open up the legs, nice and wide. So if you're sitting here and you find your pelvis is actually rounded backwards, this might mean a bit tight through your legs. So you could bend your knees to get your pelvis upright. Or if you like to have your legs straight, you might just end up lengthening here rather than tilting forwards. If you can get your pelvis right up, come up, maybe even coming forwards and just holding here. So as far as you like to come down, we'll try to keep our spine straight and our toes up towards the ceiling. Beautiful opening for your inner thigh. You might be able to sneak yourself a bit deeper as you feel your body relax. Those of you who are happy to hold it in one place, please stay where you are. If you would like a little bit extra, inhale. As you breathe out, you tilt your body forwards and hold, just hovering above the ground. Inhale up to your lowest height and exhale down. So you might be here, might be here, might be here, and lift. Come down and hover. And use your strength to lift. If you're feeling stronger, try hands behind the head, it's a bit harder. My legs are shaking a bit have to use your leg muscles, especially your glutes, to do this. And 
let's come down and relax. I think we need to relax now. Just relax in your spot. Walking the hands in. Stretch up with your right arm, reach it up. As you breathe out, coming over your left leg into a side bend. Just holding there, I'm just gonna turn towards the camera. Come over into our side bend. Might look like this, maybe you'll be a bit deeper. If you can get deeper, you can tuck that hand underneath your opposite thigh, tuck your shoulder into your leg as you reach over. Do try to keep your elbow up as high as possible. Otherwise, you might be here. You might be here. It's all good. Take some time. Inhale. And exhale the other side. So I don't need to show you your option. You can go straight in to it, just holding when you feel good. And sometimes where you feel good is not your end range, it's not all the way to the bottom, as far as you can possibly go. And sometimes it is. back to our backs, hugging our knees into the chest, spread your arms nice and wide and we'll drop the knees to the right side, keeping them stacked up, turn your head to look over the left arm. We try to ground through our shoulders as much as possible. Inhale as you come through centre, Exhale to drop to the other side, turning your head. Inhale to come through centre. Arch your knees either side of your chest for happy baby. Heels come up to the ceiling. You might be holding onto the backs of your thighs, your lower leg, or the soles of your feet. Now wherever you've decided to hold on, make sure that you can lower your tailbone. It's possible to get your tailbone down towards the ground. So your back is not curled up away from the ground. Just lower it. And so are your shoulders. Shoulders are trying to get down to the ground too. And a rock from side to side. Into your lower back. Before placing your feet together, Lowering your feet down to the floor and letting your knees open. Arms reach up overhead, fingertips. Touch the elbows. Breathing deeply here. open. 
slowly close your knees, stretch your legs out, feet come just wider than your hips and let your feet flop, rolling up. Take your hands and place them gently beside the body, palms facing up, just shuffle so your shoulders can feel comfortable. Adjust so that your bottom and your hips feel good. And you might even pick your head up with your hands, lengthen the back of your neck and place your head back down onto the mat. Taking some very deep breaths here, expanding into your lungs, through all dimensions, all sides, front, back, bottom, top, side to side. Taking a deep breath. Filling up and emptying completely. So feel free to stay here as long as you like. With a controlled breath. 